Let's take you live to that space race. And our correspondent, Dan Whitehead, joins us from near the takeoff site. Uh, Dan, tell us what it feels like there. It must be pretty exciting tonight for this first ever space launch from Cornwall. <laughs> really is a big moment. I remember coming down to Newquay Airport four years ago when this news was first announced and now we are only around three and a half hours away from the rocket taking off. So this is how it's going to work. Right next to me here is a prototype, a replica of Launcher One, which Thomas was explaining about there. This is what's going to carry those satellites up under the wing on the 747, a former Virgin Atlantic plane, which is around a kilometre uh, down the runway there. It is getting primed. It is getting ready for the launch. It gets to 35,000 feet. Then this rocket is ignited, 17,500 miles per hour, taking those satellites into orbit. And there are around 2,000 people who have come down here to witness this uh, spectacle, including the McNess family, who've come uh, not too far from Bodmin uh, here. And you've got all your gear. You've got your camping chairs ready. Uh, Mum Claire, how are you feeling? This is this is exciting stuff. It is exciting, yes. We're already got lots of layers on, waiting for history in the making. <laughs> Look, there were only 2,000 tickets, and I think they it crashed the website earlier this week. Uh, a lot of people didn't get tickets. What made you and the family want, want to come down here? Uh, we've been following it, what's going on, and I was just lucky to see that they'd gone on at the time that I went on to look, and we managed to get our tickets, and here we are. Excited. Fantastic. And it's George, Oliver and Piran, I think, who are the kids. Where are we? Where's George? Hello, George. George. How old are you? 11. 11. Uh, how excited are you about tonight? Really excited. What are you most looking forward to seeing? The plane. The plane, as it takes off. Yes. Okay. And it's... Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Uh, I, I know that you've been looking forward to coming yeah. down here all day. That moment, we've got a big screen set up as well, of course, because when this rocket is detached, it's going to be 35,000 feet up in the air. How are you going to feel once you see that rocket ignite and go into space? I'm really, really excited. It's like once-in-a-lifetime experience, isn't it, it's to see this? So First time in the UK as well, so it's really exciting, yeah. Can't Kieran, how are you feeling about oh, yeah, it? Yeah, it's really exciting, like... Never seen anything like this before. I've never been, even been in an airport before, let alone see a rocket. Like, yeah, and the plane's so huge. And I saw it earlier. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You've got your chairs. Have you got enough layers? Are you all wearing enough? It's going to get cold tonight. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. five, five layers. <laughs> at five least. layers. Plenty of snacks as well. Oh yeah. Yes. Excellent yeah. stuff. I'll let you well. go and get a good spot because, as I say, there are a couple of thousand people. Thank you, the McNess family, who are coming down tonight. They got their tickets, and as well as members of the public, this is the VIP tent, uh, which is starting to fill up tonight. Lots of people, of course, have been invested in this and have been looking forward to this and have put a lot of work into this uh, over the last four or five years. This is the UK's first orbital rocket launch from uh, UK soil and Virgin Orbit has chosen Cornwall uh, for this uh, mission. Nine satellites on board uh, and they, all being well, will be orbiting space in the wee hours of this morning. Yeah, um, Dan, thanks very much indeed for now.